Hello everyone, I'm so happy to share with you. I'm a Gava Twins, civil engineer. I want to share with you cut and fill works, nut works, generating forums and areas in the background, the backhoe, the excavating our soil perimeter drain. So let's live. So how do you define cut and fill? This is the process of leveling the land by removing soil from areas above the desired elevation and filling that same soil in areas below the desired elevation. And our side we had to bring in additional G15 material from the bore pit for the fill areas. Uh, and this whole process is crucial for creating a stable and safe construction site by adjusting the topography to meet the design requirements. This is our site before clearing and grabbing. We shall go ahead and start the procedure. So what are the steps for the cut and fill? Uh, the first one is site survey and planning. Another it we have to graph survey where the survey needs to pick topo data and identify areas that needs to be cut and fill. Then there's also design review where the data, the survey data is analyzed in conjunction with the project design requirements to meet the tailed plan, excavation, grading and filling. Step two, site preparation. Here we have clearing and grabbing where vegetation and any other obstructions are removed from site. Then we have topsoil removal and our depth was 0.3. We had to remove topsoil and expose the subsoil. Then here we had to do volume calculations. Here it involves survey, repicking levels. And these same levels, he's, he compares them with the levels picked during topograph survey to get the volume of topsoil. Then again, the levels picked of topsoil removal, I compare them with the design levels where our site has a slope of 2.5% to have the cut, that's the value and the fill, the cut less than the fill, meaning we need to get more improved G15 material from the bore pit to cover up for the fill. Step 3, excavation that's cut, where subsoil is excavated to the required depth and material is occupied and some transport to the designated area, that's the fill section, then compacted to achieve stability and prevent future settlement. Step 4 is filling where the material excavated uh, is in, or imported from the bore pit is placed on the lower areas and compacted to achieve a desired density and stability and still graded to match the final contours of the site and all this is done with the guidance of surveyor to control levels. Step 5 uh, is final grading and drainage where our site we had to grade to create a smooth and leveled surface using a grader and then drainage systems are installed to manage runoffs and prevent erosion. Our site we had to use a soil perimeter dish as a way of preventing or manage runoff. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. So that's all cut and fill works, creating volumes, surface areas. Below that is the initial when you're starting a construction site. So dear engineers, surveyors, try to follow up all these tutorials. They are very helpful. Otherwise, have a wonderful week. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Agabacons. Check it out for more videos.